One time I had sex with this guy. <laughs> he had a fucking water bottle dick. Like, you know those big, like, ice mountain water bottles? Or, or what? what's the brand we have here? Arrowhead? Like, the ones we with def- the- Hold on. We definitely don't have Arrowhead. Let's clear this up. We ice are not an Arrowhead. Chicago. We are not an Arrowhead household. No, we don't have that here. No, like, LA brand is Arrowhead. But you know the ones with, like, the, the tops on them? Yeah, ice mountain. Like, the fat ones. Like, I swear to God, this guy had a dick- like a water bottle are you saying it was the worst sex of my life okay it was too big horribly big okay it was like eight nine inches and the girth of a fucking <laughs> elephant trunk and that's why i stopped dating todd <laughs> <laughs> yeah that was Todd. okay so you what you're saying size does matter but also oh, it could yeah. be too big oh i prefer a small pp jason <laughs> <laughs> not small but like averagely Here, here's my friend jason <laughs> have you ever thought that Maybe you could be Lil Wayne when you meet fans, when, when teenage boys come up to you at the mall and they're like, oh, I'm a fan. Oh, Do you no. feel like you're, I think you're missing a lot of opportunities with your brand, by the way. I think you should have like pinup posters, calendars. Yeah, you're right. You should have a straight up calendar. Yeah, you really should. I would if I had like a nicer body, but yeah. That's I'm saying crazy. like, Natalie, no, Natalie literally, literally, literally just shook no. her head like, what the fuck I'm is she saying? I'm not saying it like that. Like, I, I think that like I'm skinny, but I don't think that I'm toned. Does that make sense? Karina, you, we talked about this the other day. You are in the top percent of sexiest okay, people alive. That's our opinion. It's not our opinion. That's the opinion of the world. Why okay. do you think you have followers? Because you're fucking beautiful. That's why. You have just as many followers as I do. Carly has followers. <laughs> I, don't, I can't take myself out of that mm-hmm. one. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. I, I, I think that I'm skinny. I, I am very confident in my body, but I don't. I think it could be better. I think I could be more toned. I think I could work out. That's what I'm saying. I'm not saying like, oh, I think I'm bad or whatever. I think you can definitely kill a calendar. I think I would want to be in better shape. Why are you touching sure. yourself? Not necessarily right now. skinnier, but more toned. Corinna, stop rubbing your poops. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like sometimes it's just nice to play with them. You get to pick the photos that go in the calendar, though, and it's only one per month. There's 12 photos. Out of 12 photos, you have how many hundreds of photos on your Instagram? 12 of those photos are gonna come out. Natalie like, wants higher. this calendar more than anybody. <laughs> All right, Natalie, I'll give you 10. percent supporting my fellow women. Okay. I don't know. Yeah, and and not even like a Playboy calendar, just like a pretty photo shoot, like in the flowers. Like you don't even have to show your body off. Like literally your face I, with like. I really like, don't believe many people would buy that. Sorry that I'm. I'm chiming in again but there's just like so many when i like look at you and your brand personally like i've thought about this before which is why i'm so heated about it but when i look at you and your brand i feel like there's so many like endless opportunities that you could be doing to make like, i know you make great money now but so many opportunities even with like pouty girl and like yeah whatever you're you just you i think you i'm just scared of failure i don't know cool. <laughs> Karina, no, I, what, what textbook did you read that from? No, can we listen. get back into the dick sucking? <laughs> <laughs> can we stop talking about my career and talk about cocks? Maybe I should go into the porn industry. Huh? Porn? No, we're not saying porn. David offered me like millions of dollars to do a porn if he could have all the rights to it. I didn't. I offered you and Todd $250,000 each. Okay, whatever. It's not millions of dollars okay. and you guys turned it down. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, when are you going to get that family channel going? You always talk about that. Karina, you're also the No, co- I do want a family channel eventually. Where do you yeah. see yourself in five years? I do want a family channel eventually. <laughs> <laughs> um, I see myself having family. In five years? Yeah, I want to be a stay-at-home mom. Really? <laughs> yeah. No, I want to like work, but I want to be able to like be home with my so kids. So in five years, you want to have kids? In five years, I'll be almost 30, yeah. That's not a long time. That's, that's right around the corner. Yeah, I know. Time ah. flies. Karina's I mean, gonna, be, gonna be good with kids. She was a nanny. Thirty. Exactly thirty. Um, I always thought that, like when I was younger, I always thought like by twenty six, that's when I was gonna. Yeah, like, and then when you get meet older, my guy, mm-hmm. have a family. You totally still thing. could. You're twenty three. I know. I like could potentially, but just just like from growing up and being more mature and having like a different outlook on life, like I don't know if I'd want that. Sure. Yeah. I mean, I guess it depends. Maybe if I'm the right person, then I'll be like. No, I want I kids at like twenty nine or th- like thirty, like twenty nine, thirty latest. Yeah. I want kids around 49, 50. Whoa. Yeah, your sperm will really, be Grandpa? Yeah. That's crazy. You're going to start then? I want to spread myself thin too early. Oh, man. You don't want to be chasing those kids around when you're 60. Yeah, it's going to be really hard. Corinna does this thing in the car where she'll say, like, the, the greatest stuff for the vlog. All the stuff will spill out of her mouth. Like, she'll really say, like, the funny, craziest thing in the car. Craziest things. And then we'll turn the camera on. And she's like, no, I can't. Cor- where the camera's not on, Corinna goes, Corinna goes, I wish instead of rain, it was just cum falling out of the sky. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then I turned my camera on. And I was like, what did you just say? And she goes, no, 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 no. Yeah, but you guys act like I didn't let you put in the vlog the time where I told you that I wanted, like, six guys to come on top of me she she did say that once and she let me put in that vlog and i appreciate and it wasn't it. that it was like yesterday you, guys you know, like tried to refilm it like eight 
fucking times and I didn't know what you wanted. I'm right, that was definitely weird when I first started hanging out with David when he took me to his parents' house and his parents were in Florida. Yeah, my parents, yeah. That was awkward. We went to we went to my parents' house and my parents were out of town and I brought Jason over and I told them like, I told my parents, I'm like, Jason's staying over and they were really weirded out because they've never met Jason and all they saw was like 10 videos of him and he was 45. <laughs> they thought- You were gay? They, yeah, they, they thought he, I was fucking him. It took my parents a while to say yes. And then, I and would then, have thought the same thing. Yeah, the, 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 when they finally said yes, my dad prefaced it with, "Just don't go in our room, okay?" <laughs> so it was like, it was, can you imagine you it was almost and a forty-five-year-old like man going into your parents' yeah, room? Yeah, it was almost like him giving up and being like, "Okay, if this is what my son wants. <laughs> just don't go. Just into don't our fuck room. him in our room." <laughs> um, I felt like that's kind of what my parents thought. But you no, should I, ask him now if he thought you were gay at the time. No, it's not that he. I, I don't know. I don't know. Who knows what they thought? I would have had my suspicions. If it makes you feel better, Jason, I slept at David's house too once. Yeah, I'm he sure showed they were me his fine guinea pigs. <laughs> I turned his dad, gave him a high five. Oh yeah, Corinna, <laughs> Corinna slept over once when we when we still lived in Chicago. Yeah, but it, she slept in. A, that's the the first day I met her. Corinna slept over. And why? He showed me his you, you live like twenty minutes away. No, um, I don't know. I don't know why. But my my parents weren't home, so I let her sleep over. But she slept in my sister's room. Uh, and I honestly. We hit it off. Not in like a sexual way, but as like friends, I feel like that's why I slept over. Yeah. We were just like, oh yeah, we're having a fun time. Like, let's sleep over. And she but, slept like, in my we... sister's room and I went next door I think to my I was room. bummed though. Because I think I wanted to not sleep in your sister's room. Yeah. I mean, I, I would imagine it's like. I, I remember when I first met Corinna, like David like picked me up in the Tesla and like we were riding around and then we picked you up and then you got in the back seat and Dom was in the back seat and I was like looking at you and Dom and then I looked at myself and I was like, oh wow, he's assembling like. A bunch of like uh, archetypes here. <laughs> <laughs> He's got like the fucking weed smoker, the old washed up comedian, and then the hot ditzy fucking slut. <laughs> and I was like, oh wow, this is gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> this is it. This is the sweet spot. That was the first time we all hung out. Yeah, it was definitely the, one of the first times I met Krinner because I remember you were in the backseat of the Tesla just fucking talking your mouth off. You were like, you were like, like talking a mile a minute. Well, I remember when you came into the group, I was kind of like, oh, I don't know. Like, and then we would all make jokes. Like, it was kind of serious, but kind of joking. Like, oh, yeah, he's replaced all of us. And like, I was like, oh, I don't know about this guy. Like, who is this guy? Oh, yeah. I remember, I remember people you know. were jealous at first because I was filming with you so much. Yeah. Oh, no, really? Seriously. Yeah. Are you, oh, you going to film with Jason? People were jealous? Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Yeah, everybody. I mean, really? I only even say yeah myself. Oh, I never feel like that. I always feel like no, obviously not anymore. But when first we're like, oh, who's this new guy? Like, why is he getting all this? Now they're more happy that I don't drag him as many places as I drag you. Yeah. 